Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. Get all the updates. Right, every day's video, the Beer's Courtesy Hot Butcher for the World. Thanks so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, so, yeah, they just sent off a bunch of beers. And I was looking at them like, which one do I want to do first? This one's got Sabro in it. So I'm like, you know what? I think this is going to be the one. Uh, so it's Nelson and Sabro Hopped. It's an IPA. It's at 7% ABV. I'm not looking at the uh, tasting notes until after I give my thoughts. But, yeah, super excited to try this proper glassware so you know it's going to stick to the coaster i mean you know it's going to taste better all right so yeah it's hmm probably because it's so hazy I'm, I'm wondering the way the lighting is for me it's a little bit more orange than yellow but like almost 50 50 so i'm thinking it's probably a little lighter with what you're seeing so maybe it looks a little bit closer to the 50 50 orange and yellow but yeah it's definitely like juicy looking uh you know nice i would say like thick haze uh one finger of barely off white head compact bubbles definitely looks like you know new england style double single or double ipa um not a whole lot of Lacing sticking around, well, I guess a little bit. Anyway, that's what it looks like. Let's get to that aroma. All right, so first thing I'm hit with is like a nice tropical, little bit of like the lychee fruit. Then that coconut thing I associate with Sabro kicks in. And it's what's nice about it about the sabro is even like the like the most sabro forward coconut forward beer with sa like from the sabro it's never like suntan lotion it's never like that kind of like gross or not gross but like too much it's it's one of the things there but it's like unmistakably that thing but yeah, definitely like you know just kind of like a tropical medley i mean it's like kicking actually maybe even a little bit of pineapple it's like pina colada vibes. That poor Nelson, I'm not getting like my white wine like I usually do. Or even lemon. Yeah, it smells fantastic. Like, it, like it's nice. Let's get into the taste. I don't know why I just made that noise. Cheers. I don't think I've ever done that in a review. So, ah, okay. So... That's nice. The Nelson much more present in the aroma because I wasn't really getting it, or much more present in the taste in the aroma because I wasn't really getting it in the aroma. First and foremost, this does drink like an IPA. Good level of bitterness. You do get some of those fruity, juicy notes that you want though. <clears throat> there is, I'm gonna stick with generic tropical. As that's happening, the sweetness up front and then the bitterness and, and it bitters out pretty quickly like it, you don't have a, it doesn't linger long with the sweet fruit it goes to like bitter with the fruit flavor staying uh pretty long but like it goes to bitter pretty quickly um then like layering on top of the tropical somewhat displacing it but it's still there somewhat so it's like more like layering on top like displacing somewhat and then layering on top is probably the most accurate way of saying it then I get like the Nelson-y stuff, like the things I associate with Nelson. A little bit of white wine, a little bit of lemon. Um, and then the kick, the punch, the kiss, probably more than a kiss, of the specific coconut. And almost like this, I'll have to look for it again, like maybe a vanilla note with that coconut, which is kind of cool. Um, or maybe like more, I don't know, like it, it's reminiscent of... Again, like pina coladas, maybe like a little bit of pineapple in there. But two hops, I don't really think of like pineapple specifically. That might be a cool beer, like Galaxy and Sabro. Galaxy, Vic Secret, and Sabro. I'm trying to make like a pina colada beer. Man, I love that aroma. A little vegetal too. Like herbaceous vegeta vegetal that I didn't get before. It's the only thing new I'm getting as it's opened, maybe warmed a little bit. I have some on my palate, you know, so that's like the only other thing I'm pulling now in the aroma. Man, it's, it's just a nice smell. Yeah, no, it's, it's, 
yeah, like this tropical into pineapple thing with the coconut, not the vanilla. Let's see what they have to say. Bright citrus. I mean, that lemon, lemon is such a bright taste. I don't think to say bright, but like, yeah. Uh, ripe tropical. Yeah, I don't know how you drink this, but I'm not talking about tropical. And then pleasant coconut. Yeah, I, I, I mean... Sit, like bright citrus i only get lemon really specifically i don't get like orange or grapefruit so for me i would have said lemon tropical and coconut they said citrus instead of lemon but the tropical and coconut's the same so I, yeah i think we that's basically us agreeing it is a short version of that this beer is phenomenal i'm loving sabro i'm loving 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 sabro i hope the microphone uh, but yeah, thanks again for sending it, guys. I really appreciate it. Have you guys had this beer before? Have you had a beer with Sabro lately that you want to talk about? Or this this combination of Nelson and Sabro together specifically? Let me know in the comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing that, make sure you check them out on Instagram and Untapped. It's No Hype Beer Reviews, both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone. Let me know if you stayed for that nonsense in the comment section below.